Hey there YouTube, uh, this is Tom. I've been wanting to do a video about lashing for a long time. It's going to be a short video about lashing, using rope to secure things that you're going to move in a truck or a trailer. Um, and I also have the chance today, since the situation with the truck currently is, is to, to uh, show people that haven't done it before how to use your truck's rear window if you have one to move very long pieces of wood. So you can move 12 foot, 16 foot, even 20 foot pieces of wood through that back window um, if you do it right. So I'm just going to talk about how I lash this down and uh, putting it through the window. So what you can see is this is actually a 16 foot board on a dual cab uh, sh pretty short bed here but the 16 foot doesn't even come to the end of the of the tailgate here and a 20 would just go over just a little bit but if you uh, load it carefully you know put some stuff here and up there on your dashboard you got no worries uh, you do have to lash it in real good so it doesn't move at all and uh, my secret to lashing is there's a couple rules <laughs> for me I only use one knot I use a square knot if you don't know how to tie a square knot well you got some learning to do because that's the first knot anybody who works with rope will learn it's a square knot I only use a square knot I've had a situation in the past where someone used a lot of half hitches in an attempt to help me and the tarp that was on that trailer just blew right off created a huge mess that I had to deal with in the rain um, but that's another story anyway so my system of latching the first rule is you know use the square knot get yourself a long length of your rope off of the uh, off of your your rope there get a long length prepared and uh, it needs to be long enough to go up and around and do all this this nonsense here so that's all just one piece of rope and you're going to get that long length and tie it off with the square knot. That's actually even only half of a square knot because I knew it would be fine. Um, then the next rule is you have to have two points going in two directions. So to keep this stable, I mean, when I was driving up here with this in the back, I go as fast as I want, take the turns the way I want, this is not going to move anywhere. So you have to have two points being lashed in in two directions. You just come up the first one you come around and then you go back around again and there's another system, another pointer for lashing is you use the rope against itself to make things tighter so you can the next time you come around then you can swing this over and tighten it and swing it back around again and go to the other uh, tie point now every truck in their truck bed if you don't know this you're gonna have four metal tie points that are just here just designed just so that you can tie in things real nice and easy in your truck remember the important thing is that you got to have two points with the rope being tight in two directions once you have that, you can have more than that too, but once you have at least that as your minimum, your cargo isn't going to go anywhere. It's not going to move because it's lashed in. Now one other thing I did here, just for one more point of, of security during uh, moving this wood through the truck window, is I used a... Uh, bungee cord here and just hooked one side to that and went around it and then hooked the other side to the uh, headrest bar there pretty simple just another place you can use to uh, add just a little bit more stability but this is is not nothing I mean this is nothing compared to to rope because it's just it's not stable like that just another little tip if you're moving some wood through your truck window All right, so let's just look at how the uh, rope was used. Remember, it's one piece of rope, just how it was used during this lashing 
um, by taking it apart. So we're going to untie it and notice the things that were done to, uh, to make it stable and work the way it did. The first thing is, this is where it was tied off at the end point with a simple square knot. So we're going to undo the square knot. Now, it came around here, and so it was tight to that point, right? Then it comes back around here, and if you notice, some people will really frown upon this, but all I did was take it from that point up to the back of this before I started going around. So, you know, I'm doing it now holding a camera. It looks terrible. It just flew right off. But trust me, this worked fine. Pull it tight. Pull it tight back around there. And then come around. And uh, if you do that tightly with both hands and you work at it, it's not a problem. I just drove 30 miles with this. Um, now, here's that situation I was talking about using the rope against itself to make things tighter. If you see back there, I came around that rope and I was able to make that pull to make this tie point tighter by coming around it a certain way. Now I'll take this out. Okay. And it's just quite simply coming through here, taking it out of there. I'm just doing the reverse, what I did to, to tie it in. Then around here, again, we have another situation or example of where you use the rope to make itself tighter. The very first time I went around from the beginning up to here, I came around there and I made the rope come over the top and it can pull against itself, right? That makes it tighter. That's really it. That's all there, <laughs> that's all there is to it. Now my uh, rope is untied. I'm gonna roll it back up, use it next time, and uh, unload my cargo, get the, get the job done here. Y'all have a good day. Oh, now one thing, I, uh, I made a mistake when I said this is a 16-foot board. This is actually a 12-foot board with two 10-foot stacked on top of it. So it's not quite as big a truck as I was <laughs> alluding to.